Welcome to Gapology Radio with your hosts, Mark Tinas and Brian Brockhoff. This is your leadership development podcast where they share unique insights with the purpose of helping leaders achieve their greatest potential. You can learn more by reading their books, Gapology, Imbar, and Speed of Purpose, or by participating in one of their workshops. All of this and more can be found on their website, gapology.org. Hey everybody, welcome to Gapology Radio. As a reminder, grab a copy of our second book, Imbar, The Pathway of Transformation. You can find it on Amazon.com. Imbar is a powerful method for analyzing your current results, defining where you want to be, and then putting it all together with a plan for transformation to help get there. You can develop an Imbar for your professional life, personal life, or even for specific situations like job interviews or big events. Check out our previous podcast to learn more about Imbar or head on over to Gapology.org for all the details. And for tonight's topic, we'll be continuing our series designed for individual contributors who are seeking guidance for moving into a leadership role or even for simply achieving their own specific goals. This episode, we'll be discussing how to leverage the power of identity and mindset with Imbar. So let's go ahead and get the show rolling with Martinez. Hey, Mark, how are you doing? Hey, Brian. Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, this heat wave continues that we started talking about last week. It's insane. I think uh, I think we're going to be in the hundreds this weekend. How's it out there? I think we're right at 100 degrees today Man. where I'm at. So Yeah, it's, it's crazy. So my son Jonas, so he's in Dallas. And today it was 109. Oh, wow. <laughs> Can you believe that? I mean, With a... With 109 Crazy. humidity. Yeah, man. I'm sure his tires were melting to the freeway. Oh, horrible. Not good. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so yeah, so tonight we're going to continue this conversation on becoming a leader. So a uh, for our three-part series for individual contributors. And tonight we're going to discuss everything from an IMBAR perspective. So I, this is a unique way of going after these podcasts uh, using kind of a single topic and exploring it from these different perspectives of our different books. And, and IMBAR is, I think, a perfect tool to really use if you are an individual contributor. And for those of you who don't know, that really means somebody who's not a manager. So it doesn't lead a team, uh, isn't responsible for you know a small team, large team. Uh, so these are individual contributors, which is really the bulk of the population out there. Um, so if you are an individual contributor and have strong goals, things that you really want to achieve, maybe you want to move into management, uh, you know, some of our tools that we talk about in our books uh, can really provide some great guidance for you. And Imbar, I think, is is a perfect example of that. So, um, so yeah, so you want to kind of kick it off, Mark? Yeah, so Imbar is an identity mapping tool that Brian and I developed. We wrote a book called Imbar about it. We really never told anybody about it. Uh, we've used it in, in organizations, but have never marketed the book. Uh, so it's sort of an unknown, but it is really quite incredible. So it's an identity mapping tool where you own your identity and you own everything that comes from that. Um, and as an individual contributor, the one thing to think about is you need to take control of your identity if you're looking for a change in your role within the organization. So if you're wanting to get promoted, you own your identity. And your identity is not determined by your parents or by others. You own it. And this is about how to, how to really take, uh, take control of that. So let me walk you through what MBAR stands for. So Imbar, sort of woven into all of us, is that the I is identity. So we, we have an identity, whatever that is, we own it. And that creates our mindset. So I am, and our mindset's really our attitude. And that creates our behavior, what we do, which creates the actions of those around us. So we have an influence on other people and that creates our results, our outcomes. So I am VAR is a flow of identity mapping 
And we're in control of each of those because we control the I. And the I creates the M, the M creates the B, the B creates the A, and the A creates the R. One of the crazy things that Brian and I found in using this with organizations, and it's been successful everywhere we've used it, but one of the crazy things was that it works backwards as well. Any comment on that, Brian? <laughs> yeah, no, it, it, it absolutely does. And I think, um, you know, I was thinking about this today, that our focus, things that we focus on really determines our behaviors. I think that our identity, who we see ourselves as, and our mindset, how we think and, and how we feel about things, that really drives that focus. Um, and, and when we look at this pathway, uh, you know, starting with that, starting with our, our identity and our mindset is really critical to achieving that result, the end goal that we're shooting for. And in last week's podcast, we talked about our purpose. So, you know, if our purpose is part of that result, um, we really need to start with a strong identity and mindset. Yeah. So let's, let's work it backwards and see how it works for, for someone um, who's an individual contributor who may want more. So what if you plugged in the R in advance? Do you think that would work, Brian? With the R, having that, uh, that end in mind, I think that's, that is critical. And, and having that wrapped you know, with your purpose, I think that's um, something you have to do. Yeah, that makes it more powerful. Yeah. So let's start with the R and just, and just check out the flow here. So what if you wanted to get promoted and promotion to a role within the department, promotion to a leadership role was your R and that was the outcome you were desiring. So you plugged in what you desire. It aligns with your purpose, but it's, it's what you want to happen. And you plug that in as the R and we're going to work backwards on MBAR. So just so you understand, most of the time we work from I to M to B to A to R. In this case, we're going to work backwards from R to A to B to M to I. So what do you think, Brian? Uh, promotion uh, to leader of the department or whatever you desire is plugged in as the R? Does that yeah. work? Yeah, yeah. As an individual contributor, you have to decide what that is. Not every person wants to be a manager necessarily, but to be seen as a leader, to be recognized as someone who excels. Um, I think that can absolutely be your R. And I think that we need to define that with specific clarity, really know what that looks like. Yeah. So let's plug that in as the R. So those of you that are taking notes, let's... Uh plug in under our promotion to desired role. So that's a big deal. Each of us want to be in our desired role. So now we move to the A. So the A is the actions of others that creates the R. So one of the things Brian and I have both learned is that if we always set our bar, our expectation, above that of the boss, it creates an action in the boss. It, that's a big deal. What if you achieve things that exceed the expectations of the boss? It's a game changer. What if you also help others succeed? What if one of the things you do is you help other people succeed? That creates a powerful A, which will often be airtight to that R. It'll create that R. That R being a promotion to the role you want is very real when that A is a bar set above the boss and someone who helps others succeed. Yeah. Yeah. And what if that person you're helping to succeed is the boss? <laughs> and often that's the case. The boss gets yeah. promoted. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, what, what a great uh, action to have produced. You know, I think that'd be great. Oh, totally. So you control that R because you control the A. 
and the A is the actions of others. The B is, B is behavior, and that's your behavior. So the A is the actions of others, but the B is you. So what if you show leadership and display leadership? You complete projects on time. You mentor. You have a presence. You have a sense of accomplishment and achieve, and achieve results that, that drive the organization. That B creates that A and creates that R. Do you see how that would work? So as an individual contributor, you totally control the B. It's all about you. And again, that can cascade downstream to the A and the R. Yeah, the I think one of the key things with the B is understanding what behaviors will produce the A, will produce the actions that you need to be producing. Think about your behaviors in delivering that. So be very specific about the things that you're doing that will create that action of those around you. Exactly. So again, the B creates the A, the A creates the R, but what creates the B? The M does. The M is mindset. It's your attitude. It's how you think. You own it. You own it. So the mindset of the leader, the mindset of the top performer drives the B. So you own that mindset. You own it every day. You own it for every project. So if you walk into the workplace, into the Zoom call with a mindset, an attitude that is positive, that is unbeatable, that is forward-looking, that helps others, that is supportive, everything changes. So you control that. You control that. The M controls the B. The M drives the B. And that creates the A and the R. So your, your result what you want to achieve here is driven all the way back to that M, your mindset, your attitude. And you, you own it every day. Check it at the door if things aren't going well. Brian and I have always said that. You know, you can, you can reset at any point. And again, if you come in with an unbeatable mindset, you're going to win big and achieve the result that you, that you desire. Yeah, the M is really that you know, how you think and how you feel. So that's really intellect and emotion. So as, as someone who, whose R is to become a leader, if that's what your R is, your M needs to be in that uh, frame of reference. So what would a leader think like? What would they feel like? Having that at the forefront of, of your efforts around M puts you in place for that B and A to, to really drive that R. Yeah, totally. Totally. And it's absolutely critical. And the M is created by the I. And the I is your identity. So your identity as an individual contributor is your personal brand. Like it or not, you have one. But you own it. You control it. You can make that brand whatever you want. It's not developed by anyone else other than you and it flows downstream so think about it your identity who you are creates your mindset your attitude creates your behavior creates the actions of others which creates the outcomes the are the results so you've got to own this so if you want to become a leader in an organization, you've got to become a leader before you become a leader. Yeah, I love that. That makes sense. Yeah. You know, you That's you great. you've got to become the role that you're desiring. You've got to be that. So figure that out. Once you be that, it comes your way. Companies, organizations today are in need of great people. Be a great person. Become, become the leader before you become the leader. It, uh, it's a total game changer. So you control that identity. Nobody else does. So let go of any, any um, preconceived notions about who you are. You can, you can change who you are today. You own it. You own it. Mm -hmm. And from the I becomes the M, 
becomes the B, becomes the A, becomes the R. That's MBAR. And it flows from you and it can be incredible. And we've seen so many, so many in, you know, results of people controlling their career, achieving their ultimate objectives, all because they learn that the I uh, flows downstream. Yeah, no, exactly. That I is really that that lens that you see the whole world through. So if you can create a strong eye around the R that you want to deliver, that then becomes how you see everything, how you see your role, how you see the, the behaviors that you're going to be uh, exhibiting. Um, that's the lens you're going to see the action that's happening. Um, everything happens with that lens. And if, if you're not seeing things through that lens, you have to really take a step back and and create a plan to get there because otherwise it's going to be very, very difficult to achieve that R. That's why I, went, I, I quickly wrote this down because I do think this needs to be on a t-shirt, Mark. The become the leader before you become the leader. I think that is fantastic. And that's exactly what Imbar is. Seeing yourself in that role does create that, you know, how you think and you, how you feel. It creates uh, the things that you do. It creates the actions of those around you, and that's what will deliver your R. I love that. I can't even believe I said that. That is genius. So the front of the shirt, become the leader, <laughs> the back of the shirt before you become the leader. That's totally it. Yeah. Wow. Yep. That will be on our website soon. I'll get that on there. Write that down. Yeah. <laughs> that's excellent. <laughs> Yeah, so the, the the bottom line is, you know, take control of your career. Your identity is yours. And it's now. It's it's who you are. And you control that. Nobody else does. Uh, and organizations today are in need of people like you that can make things happen. And uh, if you simply implement the things we just talked about, you can totally take control of your career and achieve your, your dreams yep. and help others achieve their dreams. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, good. Yeah, I think uh, taking the time to, to really process all this and leverage it, I think that's really going to be critical to, to everyone's growth, um, specifically individual contributors that want to move into a leadership role. Uh, being honest with yourself where you are now, um, seeking guidance, seeking um, additional uh, training and development from your leaders to grow in your career, I think is is a is a first step. Um, you know to to move that in that direction, and and the way to really do that is to set your identity as a leader, um, because leaders really want that growth and they want that feedback. So learn Embar. We, yep. we really haven't marketed it, so we apologize for that. Uh, if, if you learn MBAR, you can, you can become incredibly powerful in terms of controlling your own destiny. It's all about that. So yep. thanks, everybody. All right. Thanks, Mark. We'll talk to you later. Have a great night. Okay. You too. Bye. All right. That'll do it from here. For more information on MBAR, you can go all the way back and listen to some of our early podcasts from 2018 entitled Identity and the Storyboard, Mindset in the Mindset Phases, and Bar and the Imbar Pathway. Our audio production has certainly improved since then, but you'll still get some great information from some of these early episodes. Or just head on over to our website, gapology.org, for more information. Everyone have a fantastic week. We'll talk to you soon. This has been a Gapology production. Visit us at gapology.org.